No, you know, I, I didn't envisage, envisage it um, being probably as massive as it is now, but I did think it would be, it could be something that could become popular because um, I was like, if you do something that you're giving a voice to the fans, other fans will relate to it. So I did think, it, you know, I did think it would catch on. Um, I didn't think it'd be as catch on as quickly as it has done. So it has been, you know, a real big ride. Um, but it's good. It's all good. And um, we started it from nothing. So to start something from nothing and it's just been all organic, you know, no big investment, no marketing budget. Just until like, now, until now. Still no. Still no, no, no. There's still no marketing budget. Wait, wait, wait. Market, wait, wait. All companies out there, big brands. <laughs> Did you just hear what Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV said? No sponsors. No, we've done a few things with oh. brands. But what I'm saying is that we, we've never had like no body come in and say right here's you know we've never it's just been the money that we've invested out of our own pocket so to see it grow organically has been brilliant you know self-determined I love that there's the channel there's merchandise what else is there connected to the whole Arsenal fan TV brand that we may not know about we've also got another channel called um, Man Like Robbie um, and uh, that one is a it's a football channel as well but it's more general football right. so uh, on that channel we talk about all football so we do like for instance like a daily show where we talk about the biggest football stories of the day and with that as well we're sort of like sending out like um, I've got a girl's called Philippa and she goes out and interviews fans at games so she, uh, we've only just started uh, her doing that she went out last week and she did like the cup final between Southampton and Man United so you know that's one that we're going to be really growing um, over the next year or so so yeah and then there's some other projects that we're working on at the moment where we one content one project we're working on at the moment is really exciting where we're going to be doing like content into Africa so that fantastic well done. Well done. yeah well done. and one of the coups was obviously getting Gary Neville to come on the show mm. um, that happened recently tell me about how that came to fruition um, yeah. and you know what that's done for the channel in terms of you know people gravitating from all sorts of all walks of life yeah, with the Gary Neville thing, well, he sort of made a comment about Arsenal Fan TV where he said it was embarrassing and I didn't, I, I kind of was a bit upset about that. So I kind of hit back at him, um, you know, on Twitter and it just sort of blew up from there. It was a big, I also did a video where I said, you know, that I was very unhappy with some of the things that he said. Um, he then got in contact with us and said, listen, come into Sky and we'll talk about it. And uh, that's how we ended up doing the video, where we put questions to him. And, uh, you know, basically I was just saying to him, you know, you're entitled to your opinion, but have respect for what we do, because we've just felt in the past that some of the traditional media haven't really had the respect for what we're doing. They've kind of looked down on us, uh, looked on it as a little bit of a joke thing or whatever. And I'm like, hold on a minute. We're getting more traction than you guys on a lot of times. I mean, we're getting like 10 million plus views on YouTube alone every month. So have a bit of respect for what we're doing. Plus as well, we're talking to fans and nobody else really has done that in the past. The fans have been the neglected part of football. It's always been the players, the owners, the TV. Nobody's ever give a toss about the fans. So we're giving a voice to those fans. So I was like, have respect for that. And you know, I think that by the end of it, he, he's got respect for fans. Um, he didn't go back on a few things that he said, but I think the overall thing is that he ended up having respect for the fans and how he's helped us. Um, it's brought more awareness to what we do. Um, I think it's brought more respect from the, the, the national media as well. Um, and yeah, it's just been it's been good. It's, that was actually uh, a negative that turned into a positive. Well, I've seen you interviewed by pretty much every major um, publication, seen you on a few channels as well. Um, so how's your life changed in terms of walking down the street and people knowing who Robbie is? Oh yeah, so that's a bit mad. I mean, I mean, even before that, to be honest, like amongst football fans, um, I don't think there's any ground I can go to in the country. I can't go to your place. I used to be able to go to Tottenham. I used to work up the road. I remember back in the day, I used to work on Tottenham High Road, right, and opposite the police station. I used because I used to work in, um, I used to work as a surveyor. Um, and I remember when I used to go to Arsenal Tottenham, I just used to just walk down the road, blend in, because you know there's a lot of black people around Tottenham, yeah? I used to blend in until I got right to the corner. And then when I walk around the corner, I'd go, come on Arsenal, and they look and they'd go, ah, oh. <laughs> right? I can't do that no more. As soon as I hit that road, Seven Sisters Road, they know who I am. So, no, I, yeah, you go to, even just walking down the street and that now, yeah, a lot of people recognise who I am. So, I suppose a, a greater responsibility comes with that as well, that I've had to start learning. But, um, yeah, it's been all good, man. What kind of plans you got for the channel moving forward? Just to keep doing what we're doing. I'd, I'd really like to um, 
grow it even bigger. Um, I've got plans to do more stuff with fans abroad as well. I mean, we get like loads and loads of response from fans all over the world. So I want to do more stuff with fans around the world and also like try and bring in even more talent um, from over here in the UK as well. So Talking about the talent you, you, you've brought in, because there's some regulars on your show. I mean, how, break that down to us. Are they part of what you do or is it just that they were characters who people gravitated to and kind of left them? When, when I say talent, I don't, those are just fans. So when I say talent, I'm on about like somebody who can do interviews like me and things like that. Those guys that we interview, all of them, I never knew any of them before we started doing it. They're just fans that we've just become regulars, as you said, on the channel because they've just come. Well, everyone must built up a, a notoriety for their for themselves. They have, they have some of them. Um, troops, you know, uh, DT, these guys, Claude, you know, they have. Um, troops, Claude, who's the other one? Ty. Ty, he got his hat taken at Chelsea. That was a killer. There's quite a few characters that have sort of, you know, just, just developed over a period of time. But um, listen, it's all about, though, being real. I don't, it's not about developing characters or nothing like that. We just literally pitch up outside of the game and any Arsenal fan or any fan really wants to have a chat about football, about the game they saw, they can have a chat. They can tell us how they feel, give us their reaction. I'm not looking for people who want to come on, oh, I want to be the next big thing. Just come on and be yourself. Um, and if people like what you got to say, you know what I mean, people will watch it. So, but that's just how we do it. There's no secret thing to it where we go. A guy said to me the other day, do you audition? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is about football fans, you know, just chatting about how they feel after a game. You guys have, for me anyway, and, and I try and say this as objectively as I can, you're very emotional, isn't it, Arsenal supporters? Why so emotional? Football is a, it's not just Arsenal supporters. Football is a very emotional game. I'm sure if I came out and uh, say Arsenal just beaten Spurs free. Well, if Arsenal beat Spurs, it's emotional, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously. It's emotional. I'll come out and I'll speak to you, you ain't going to be happy, you know what I mean? So, And it, vice versa, if I come and speak to you when you've just beaten us, you're overjoyed, probably even more happy than, you know, so football is just an emotional, it's an emotional game, man, you know what I mean?